time to take a leap. If you were born on February 29th, you'd suffered the indignity of watching the calendar leap right over your birthday three out of every four years. Not this year. The 29th of February is back for a limited time only, providing us with the opportunity to explore why the calendar changes every four years to create the leap year. The answer requires a trip around the sun. It takes approximately 365 days for the Earth to circle the sun. Notice the emphasis on the word approximately. A calendar year is typically 365 days, but let's go back to that trip around the sun. Hundreds of years ago, astronomers discovered that the journey actually takes closer to 365 days and six hours. Six hours may not seem like a lot, but if the calendar is off that much each year in four years, that's a full day. So around 45 BC, the Romans added a day once every four years, creating the leap year. However, it turns out they overcompensated just a tad. Adding a day every four years is about 11 minutes too much. So now we skip the leap year three times out of every 400 years. If not for all of these adjustments, our calendar would slowly shift away from the seasons as we know them. Eventually, we would be wearing heavy jackets in August.